Hey guys, you want to see inside the house? Isn't it like something out of a storybook? So there's a little barn that's mentioned in the listing. And I'm just gonna go up to the house now and see maybe can we get inside if we're lucky. So we're finally here at the house. It's a little one from the feed from a couple of months ago. You probably recognize it's out near Capmore in Limerick. And we had a little peek inside, not too much. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. So when you come in through the front door, you've got a kitchen to your left and a little sitting room to your right. Now I'm just going to go through the sitting room really quickly because it's not really a massive amount to look at. It seems to have cement floors and it has a window to the front and a window to the back. Lovely solid door pink walls <laughs> and the little fireplace has a great view of the barn at the front and a great view of the upstairs bedroom through the ceiling <laughs> now I'm going to go into the kitchen now love these doors with the glass panes in them or I suppose no glass panes at the moment. So the kitchen we have one very large concrete pipe. <laughs> Three windows which is insane for a house this old. A little stairs which looks quite substantial. Two little built-in presses at either side of the fireplace and it seems to have wiring. Even though it doesn't look like it's been lived in for a while, it has switches. And lots of little things on the floor. It's the most... Let's see if I can get a peep at this dress for you all. Look at this. Lots of stuff just emptied out everywhere. A wasp, if anyone's looking for a house with a really big wasp in it. Now, oh guys, look at this. Oh. Up the stairs we go, I think. Solid. There's lots of stuff, which is okay. We won't look at that too closely because it's obviously someone's belongings. More lovely views out the window. So far we have two rooms up here guys. This is the one with the great view down into the sitting room so I'm not planning on going in too far into this one. And again, lovely skylight. <laughs> it's safe to say this one needs a roof guys. I think nobody is going to question. Pretty 
pretty much it for in here. So two little rooms upstairs. Lots of light. Relatively solid floors in one room and a pretty nice ceiling in one room. I mean, it's not, there doesn't seem to be rain getting in or anything, which I like. Um, yeah. All in all, not a bad little room. So this is the gable end, guys, with windows that we didn't even really see from the estate agents listing. It's mad the things they don't show. And a nice little bit of grass behind there. It's like, it's not just the three acres down to the far side that you get. You also get this lovely little back garden too. This is the view from the front door. Little barn. Lovely. And it seems like the three acres that were with this house stretch down there. Like there's a little bit of space behind it, maybe a quarter of an acre, but I think that's where the majority of the land is down there. And the road runs just behind where that estate agent sign is in the distance. So kind of, we're sitting perpendicular to the road down here and just a little bit below it. So my first house tour is officially done. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, it's been a great day, a lovely way to spend the Sunday. Um, if you have any comments, leave them down below and um, we'll have a big chat all about the house. Um, as always, the original listing is over on the Instagram feed. Uh, go over there and you can have a look at the price and get a link to the person who's selling it so maybe you can go and buy it and save it. Yay!